pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Good morning, Hart. I'm Jacob. And I'm Isaac. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. And today we're celebrating National SpongeBob SquarePants Day. Sponge? Like the thing you clean dishes with? It's, it's, it's a TV series. I've never heard of it. But it's like the highest rated TV Nickelodeon series ever. It has 14 seasons and three movies. Yeah, no, I, I still am drawing a blank. You must be living under, under a rock. Like a certain pink starfish that we all know and love. Dude, what are you talking about? Never mind. Please stand for the pledge. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's time for some Heart Sports Center. Sports fans, Plankton, Mr. Krabs. All right. Happy SpongeBob SquarePants Day. That's right. I understand he was a very avid golfer, although I don't quite understand how that works underwater. But they also made fire. That's true. That's a good point. Uh, right into our Jersey Mike's Athlete of the Week goes to junior third baseman Michael Hogan. Mike had a huge offensive week with two home runs against Golden Valley and added some more offense to the game in Redondo on Saturday. Baseball, as mentioned, Flexing their muscles lately, 37 runs scored in last week's games. This week, Saugus. Sausage. <laughs> Boys Golf played League Round 1 yesterday, and they're looking solid as ever. Boys Lacrosse played Thatcher yesterday, and looking forward to this huge matchup against Saugus tomorrow. It would be, a, it'd be great to get some fans over there for this big game. Start time is 3 p.m. Chance for a share. That's right. Uh, girls lacrosse had Nordoff yesterday and also played a big game, are going to play a big game against Saugus at home tomorrow. Start time is also 3 p.m. Boys volleyball, big week. They took on Westlake yesterday, traveled to La Cañada today, and then back at home against Golden Valley on Thursday. Tickets are on GoFan. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Spring. Boys tennis played a very close and exciting match on Thursday against Valencia. This week we traveled to Golden Valley on Thursday. Softball, busy with the Woodbridge tournament, weather permitting of course. Uh, but this week, Tuesday at home, or Tuesday at Canyon, Thursday at home against Valencia. Come out and watch. Track host West Ranch on Thursday, and then a bunch of our athletes are headed out to the Spartan Relays on Saturday. That'd be great. Swim Wednesday at the Aquatic Center against uh, against Castaic. I didn't even know Coyotes could swim. I didn't either. All right, our weird sports fact of the week from the world of baseball. Rule 705B through E states that all runners, including the batter, advance three bases if a fielder intends intentionally touches a fair batted ball with their cap, mask, or any other part of their uniform detached from their person. Hmm. So it looks like Madonna cheated in a league of their own. Cheating cheater. <laughs> Cheating cheater. Back to you guys. This Friday is our election for next year's ASB eBoard officers. Here's your secretary candidate. Hi Art High School, my name is Rodel Husay, and I'm running for your ASB secretary. I've been a part of ASB since my freshman year. For my senior year, I want to better our school by being a part of the executive board. I hope to create an enjoyable environment, all while voicing the concerns of my fellow students. I believe I can reach these goals as I have experience working with the community through the organization Jack and Jill of America, a mother and children's club that focuses on black youth. And with such commitment, 
I have learned to balance multiple roles, including that of a player for our girls' basketball team. My achievements show that I have the tenacity and passion to work towards my goals for this school. I am proud to serve our community, and I look forward to being your ASB secretary. Are you thinking about taking anatomy next year? Here's Mrs. Williams to tell you more about it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Williams, and I'm here to talk to you about anatomy and physiology. Uh, this is a science course that you can take in from grades 10 to 12. Uh, it is all about the human body, so we're learning about structures as well as functions of the human body. We go through all of the body systems. Uh, we have some pretty cool labs and dissections, and I hope you'll consider taking the class. Heart TV's own Luca Boken caught up with some of the baseball players to see how the season's going. Here he is with the story. Hey Heart, I'm here outside of T209 to interview some of the varsity baseball players. What's your name? My name is Troy Cooper. Uh, Ryan Delamazza. Brayden Jeffries. What made you join this sport? Uh, I've been playing it since I was younger, so I just, you know, it was something to do and then it kind of turned into, uh, you know, just something I enjoy and want to do every day. I mean, I've always played baseball. My dad played in the professional league, so just always grown up playing baseball. Uh, I mean, watched my brother play, and I kind of kind of grew up in a baseball family. How do you like this sport? Um, it's just the teamwork with it is really great, and it's getting me to college and everything too. So I'm I'm super grateful for that, and it's lets me go out and just give it my all during games and everything. Um. Just make new friends, you know, have a build around a team, just have fun. Uh, it's just fun playing with my friends and then just kind of just the feeling of winning. I enjoy. What has been your favorite moment playing this sport? Uh, my sophomore year, we won our league championship and that was probably my favorite moment here at heart. Hitting the walk off in league against Valencia. Just like the team dinners, it's just like really fun, just like the night before games, just like messing around with my friends and stuff. What are you looking forward to in this season? Uh, this season, I'm just looking forward to, you know, finishing up the year with my uh, other seniors and just hopefully winning another league title and going far in CIF. Uh, winning CIF. Um, just creating more memories with my close friends and just like being able to win and hopefully win in a, a league championship. Those are baseball players. I'm Luca, and back to you in the studio. We'll be back right after this. I'm here to give you some information about this year's upcoming prom. Firstly, it'll be held April 20th at the Reagan Library. The theme will be Fly Me to the Moon. It'll go from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Ticket prices, March 18th to the 29th. Tickets will be $165 with an ASB card, $175 without. From April 8th to the 12th, it'll be $175 with. 185 without. From April 15th to the 19th, it'll be 185 with and 195 without. Payment plans are available for those who would like them, and any non heart participants will have to pay $195 from March 18th to April 15th. No tickets are available at the door, and guests who are coming not from heart are going to have to sign a form on the Heart ASB website. You can buy tickets here at the little concession booth near the cafeteria and quad. I'm Jackson Mustamani reporting for Heart TV. Back to you in the studio. And now the news. Varsity baseball goes up against Saugus right here at Heart at 3:30. Congratulations, Heart Show Choir! This past weekend at the Cypress Star Reflection Show, Heart and Soul took third place. Both Heartbreakers and Sound Vibrations took first place in their respective categories, and Heartbreakers won Best Musicianship as well. Best Performer awards went to Zoe Lutes. Bella Hernandez, and Liz Allen. Great job, everybody. Attention all 9th through 11th graders. If you are interested in joining ASB next year, our applications are live on the ASB website. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Wirtz. Seniors, right now is the last chance to order Senior 2024 Spirit Wear. Go to heartseniors.com to order by March 29th and receive your gear by April 22nd. Once again, go to heartseniors.com to order now. Library night is tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. Come get that extra help you might need. March is Jersey Mike's month of giving. This year, our local Jersey Mike's has chosen the charitable organization Cancer for College, a group that grants scholarships to cancer survivors that otherwise couldn't afford to attend school due to medical bills. They are a fantastic organization, and Jersey Mike's has asked for our assistance in raising money for them. If you would like to contribute, 
please go to their store on Orchard Village and help by donating. Thank you. The Hart District CCR Department is having a college and career fair on Tuesday, April 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Valencia High School. Meet one-on-one -on -one with representatives from industry, colleges, university, and the military to explore future educational and career options. Clubs! Amigos Unidos Latino Club meets today at lunch in room E4. Come by and bring a friend. Bonjour to le monde. French Honor Society meets today at lunch in room Q9. Star Wars Club meets today at lunch in room F11. The force is with us, so come and join. The Robotics Club meets today at lunch in room C2 and after school from 3 to 5 p.m. Now it's time for today's Quote of the Day. It's no secret that the best thing about secrets is secretly telling someone your secret, thereby adding another secret to your collection of secrets, secretly, by SpongeBob SquarePants. Well, that's it for our show. Have a great SpongeBob SquarePants day. And stay classy, heart.